Hey guys, you in here. Just a quick um, update on GPV NZD. We are currently in a sell position. As you guys can see, it's reacted from its uh, supply zone, which is done there just above the 193, 910 level. Um, and it's currently making its way to the TP. Now, whether it make it there or not now, that's another story. The spread's a little bit wide on this pier. Um, I am liking, obviously, the fact that it's forming into a potentially pin um, on the hour. So it's an hour time frame here. And it's obviously having a reaction to that zone just there on the left-hand side. Let me just uh, zoom out a little bit so you guys can see it. And I'll get a rectangle just to show you exactly what I'm talking about. So you can see that supply zone there on the left-hand side. It's pretty big in nature. You can see exactly what it's done. It's had a, it didn't waste any time. The best zones you're gonna find, guys, supply zones, are the ones that didn't waste any time within an area. So the very fact that it came up here, it dropped, obviously it made a huge drop. So it dropped a lot down to the kind of 192, 105 level. So um, when you have a reaction when price uh, revisits that level, it can be quite severe in terms of obviously a movement towards the downside. So uh, let's see how this uh, trade actually plays out. I'm looking for it to start activating its uh, trading SL uh, quite shortly. But nevertheless, I'm happy uh, with obviously the way it's progressing so far. We need a red line ideally. So see this red line here? This red line here needs to come past this TP zone and that will qualify for our take profit. Now, I hope this has been useful and informative. Um, I will more than likely pipe you guys in for part two when the trade's probably close. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Hey guys and welcome back. As you guys can see, we've made a significant amount of sales or selling uh, within the area. We're down at the kind of 19361 level um, or 6162 uh, level. So it's just looking to see um, how this price actually reacts to this uh, zone here. You can see it's had a slight mild reaction. Let me just get my cross here. Slight mild reaction there yeah, at the kind of 193554 uh, five, level. Um, and obviously it's come back up. Um, for its kind of a rejection into that 20 SMA and now it's trying to make its way back down. This is a minute time frame, guys. I like to use this when I'm breaking the trade down simply because it's a lot clearer to see the spread as well. So we are waiting for the spread, believe it or not, just to pass our TP zone. So you can see, so you see here, why didn't it take profit? Well, it's very, very simple. Uh, price actually did come down, uh, but it wasn't down far enough. It spreads quite wide on this GBB NZD pair. So it's just waiting for it to come past this level and down into these zones here before we can actually see a take profit. Trade is actually in profit at the moment of around 500, but just wait to see what it does uh, beyond that. So uh, I'll see you guys in the next. Hi guys, welcome back. We are now into the take profit zone of uh, AFSD. And it's just basically, or AF supply and demand, and it's just looking basically on a smaller time frame, I mean, you guys don't have to do it, but I like to monitor the trade as it uh, ticks along into kind of um, gets activated. You guys can see this uh, trading SL just above there at a kind of 193820 uh, level, which is, let me just show you, get this across here. There we go. See it this year, and you see it's just about to take profit now. Let's see if it breaks past this zone here, which is what we're looking at at the moment. You can see obviously had a strong bit of a pullback here in this area here, this 193, uh, five, uh, five, four level. You can see it made its way up. There's only a minute bar, so they're not you know, strong demand zones, but um, it's just a little bit of a snag uh, when it does come to breaking through. But usually when it breaks through, it breaks through quite hard. So this is the first kind of test or second test. Let's see if obviously it does break through and it's a uh, last one minute bar here. But again, guys, yeah, I do like to monitor my trades, um, especially when the trade is now running. You guys can see there, it's just been a modified SL just above there. So that means if the price does come back up, so for example, it has a strong reaction off of here, obviously it makes its way here. You can see, obviously, it will just, it will take the trade out for a profit. So it's tw uh, trading 20 pips behind my current uh, trading position on the current market price at the moment. So I'm quite happy with the way things are going. Um, just going back to the original signal, which is on the H1 time frame. You guys can see it's had that strong reaction there on the blue. There we go. Profit time. And we have made £819, or just under £820 uh, for the day. 
So this, again, it's just made its way over there to the H4 time frame. H4 time frame had strong reaction to that supply zone. Uh, we've reacted, uh, or AFD, AF supply and demand has reacted and obviously taken that sell out. So very happy, just under an hour. Uh, now I'll turn the EA off and I'll rinse and repeat for tomorrow. I hope you found this useful and I'll see you guys in the next.